Thank you, uh, Ollie and Ken. There's lots to think about there. We're going to put a few minutes aside now for prayer each week in our service. We love to pray for various things going on around the world and in Cambridge. And this week I've asked three members of our HD family, Becca, Olga and Basoye, to pray for three areas. Um, and they're going to lead us now as we come to pray. Hi, my name's Becca and amongst other things, I am a mum. And we're going to spend some time now praying for schools and school children. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for all the teachers, school staff and parents who have worked so hard during this time to help children and students across the UK with their education. Thank you for the care and creativity of teachers who have gone above and beyond to try and help their students. Lord, you know how difficult it has been and how exhausted many people are. In these final few weeks of term, we ask that you continue to give your strength, wisdom and creativity to all involved in teaching. We pray that the summer holidays would be a time of rest for everyone. Finally, Father God, please help schools as they implement the government's guidance for September. We pray that they would be able to create safe and welcoming environments for the children to return to. We pray for any who are worried about returning to school. Please fill them with your peace. Protect everyone as they return. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, I'm Olga and I'm a doctor. Let's pray for our local NHS and staff. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for the National Health Service and our local hospitals that provide such amazing care and all the staff that have been working tirelessly, especially in the last few months during the COVID pandemic. Thank you for the passion they have and the care they provide for the sick. We pray that you would continue to renew their strength and we'll also pray for the opportunities for them to rest so that they can effectively continue doing their good work. We'll also commit those working at the front line who are vulnerable and have been shielding. We pray that you will protect them as they return to working in a hospital setting from August. We pray for the health service as it adjusts into the new ways of working as the lockdown is lifted. We commit to you all the management teams involved in rearranging and rescheduling elective procedures and finding new ways to run services. We pray that you will give them wisdom. We also want to commit those working hard on the vaccine for COVID-19. Please give them wisdom and resources needed to support them in this important work. We thank you again, Lord, for the incredible privilege that is our NHS. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this incredible resource available to us. We ask for your continuing encouragement, refreshment and renewal of strength for all that are working so hard to make the NHS available to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, I'm Basoe and I'm a company director. Let's pray for business and business leaders. Lord God, we are grateful for the economic and financial support that has been made available by various government initiatives in a bid to keep businesses afloat. Thank you for communities that have committed to supporting local businesses, for business leaders that have shown empathy and kindness in protecting the welfare of their staff. We are thankful for creative ideas and different logistical and technological infrastructure that have enabled many businesses to continue trading profitably. Father God, for those businesses that have been crippled by the pandemic or on the brink, we pray for new opportunities, fresh ideas and effective support to mitigate the devastating ripple effects of cancelled contracts and job losses. Lord, we ask that even now you would make a little go far enough. Give business leaders resilience in these times and a heart that is willing to embrace your wisdom for running their business. Let this time be an opportunity for businesses and business leaders to turn away and repent of greed, profiteering and other exploitative practices. For those who are struggling with making tough decisions, let integrity and love be central in their considerations. Loving Father, we pray for those who are feeling helpless and hopeless, for those whose identity have been bound in what they do, in their careers, 
in their businesses and financial success. For those experiencing the crisis of identity in your love, please let them know that we are all far more than what we possess. We pray that you turn your eyes of compassion on them, guide them to a place where they know that they are loved and accepted, not because of what they have or haven't done or any material success, but that they will experience the freedom of living without the shackles of societal expectations and pressures. Thank you, Father, for those whose businesses are doing well. We pray that you continue to prosper these businesses and enlarge their hearts to be more outward looking. All these we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you guys for leading us in prayer. We're coming towards the end of our service now and we're soon going to come to a final song. And this song is a bit more reflective and I want to encourage us to use this song to reflect on all that we've been listening to and thinking about in the service so far. Uh, for some of us, our journey exploring faith and getting to know God might take a little longer, as, uh, as Ken shared in his story. But as Katie said, and as Ollie said, um, it does ultimately come down to uh, whether we want to open the door of our lives to God. And I just want to encourage us that um, if we don't want to wait, you don't have to wait to ask God to be involved in your life and to start following him. And so as we sing this song, if you'd like to use it as an opportunity to say to God, to pray, Lord, I would like to know more about you. I'd love to have more of you in my life. I'd like to say yes uh, to following you um, and to receive your gift of forgiveness and new life. Uh, then why don't you use this song um, to pray and to reflect that back to him. Over to Esther and uh, the worship band now.
service this morning. It's been great to be together today. Um, if you've really enjoyed this morning and you would like to keep exploring, I have two suggestions for you, if I may. The first is an invitation to read an account of Jesus' life for yourself. If you've never done it before, there are four accounts of Jesus' life called Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I've got one of them here. This is John, as you can see, pretty short, easy afternoon reading on a weekend. Um, if you don't have a copy, I personally would love to send you one. You can find my email address on our website or you could ask somebody who invited you today. I'm sure they would also love to get you a copy. And the second suggestion is, as Ollie and Katie mentioned, to, to, to explore the Alpha course. Um, and to give you a bit of a flavor of that, we've got a promo video now. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather gonna be like? How am I gonna fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions, like why am I here? Where am I heading? Is there more to life than this? I 
had arrived at an answer to the most important issue that we humans ever deal with, is there a God? And I had arrived there without ever really looking at the evidence. And I was supposed to be a scientist. At 28, uh, I had gotten many of the things that I thought I wanted. You know, my girlfriend was on the cover of magazines, I had a Beamer, and I was so unhappy. It was a realization maybe that I would, I would never find happiness where I was looking for. I think for so many years, you know, I always just strived to be strong in myself. All I needed was me and my buddies and, you know, would be like invincible. But the truth is, none of us are. And I found purpose, I found meaning, I found hope. God took something so broken and made it a beautiful art piece. Alpha is a place where you can be yourself. You can say what you think and challenge everything. Now, no question is too complex or too simple. And what your point of view is, is as important as anyone else's. We are going on a journey together, an adventure to explore the questions of life, faith, and meaning. So there you go, that is Alpha. We will be running an online Alpha course starting in September, um, but you can try it well before September. Later this week on Thursday evening, we're having a taster session, the first session of Alpha called Is There More to Life Than This? You'd be really welcome. You can find more information and sign up on our website. But that's all for this morning's service. Uh, it's been great to be together. And let me end by praying for us all. Lord, we thank you for being with us this morning. We thank you for meeting with us and we thank you for all that we've seen and heard. And we pray that you continue to speak to us and be with us as we go out in our weeks. Draw us closer to you, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. You're really warmly invited back again next Sunday, 10.30. Uh, we'll be starting a new sermon series called How to Make Your Life Count. And if you haven't already found it, there's some great resources on our website for kids and families. But that's all. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great week. Mm -hmm.